clean with me. Today I have dishes left over from Thanksgiving. It's a lot of dishes, so it's going to take a full load as well as heavy duty cycle to wash these. As you can see, I'm starting out by taking the utensils and placing them into the utensil holder. And when I'm doing this, I'm separating the utensils by the type. So as you can see, I'm putting the spoons in one section right here. And I'm just going to put them in there. And as you notice, I'm putting the spoons with the spoon side up. This makes it easier for the wash to wash the spoon. There's actually a spork in there as well. And they're like a little cookie cutters that I'm going to put in the side. I just drop those down at the bottom of the large compartment. And then next I'm putting in forks into the middle compartment. Now, I typically put the forks up, but there's a little bit of uh, caution to be noted uh, when you're doing this because you can poke yourself. So I choose to put the fork side up as well as butter knife side up. However, if I have sharp knives, I will actually put those in a different part of the dishwasher or I'll put them downwards. All right. Next, I have a cutting board and I'm going to take the cutting board and I like to put the cutting board and things that are of that shape along the sides. That way they're out of the way and they don't take up much space. Next, I put in pots. As you can see, I have a pot and I place the pot face down as much as possible. As you see, that pot that I just had was had a lot of gravy, dried gravy in there. And you want to have the pot totally face down if possible to ensure that all of that stuck on dried up gravy gets washed. All right, and so like with the tops, I tend to put them alongside the cutting board and things of that size. All right, so tops, they don't take up much space either. Uh, next, I'm going to try to put in the plates and saucers. But before I do this, I'm going to adjust a couple of things. As you can see, I took out the bowl and now I'm placing in the saucers. Now, the thing with saucers and plates, they don't take up much space, but you want to ensure they have uh, ample amount of space in between each other. That way, the... Uh, plates and saucers get clean thoroughly so as you can see I have the saucers in there they're not looking quite nice I didn't do a good job with that so I'm gonna do a little bit of readjusting the saucers and plates now the thing of it is once you put them in there you can always go back and adjust them again to make sure that they're in there properly and that they have ample amount of space in between each other uh, ensuring a proper wash all right so now that I have the plates and saucers in there I'm going to start off with the bowls on the top rack I tend to put the bowls on the top rack and the reason why I do this is because they t they take up a little bit of space well actually quite a bit of space and uh, they aren't heavy like pots and pans now the pots and pans I keep on the bottom because of the weight and if you have things on the top rack sometimes you can weaken the top rack so I try not to put pots and pans on the top rack but as you can see I'm putting all of the bowls I'm trying to keep everything in an orderly fashion as you can see I'm putting the bowls I'm lining them up on the left hand side and I'm just lining them up uh, from the left hand side and working my way to the right side of the top rack and the reason why I do this because I like to keep things all together all right so when it comes time to empty in the dishwasher uh, I don't have to reach uh, in so many different sections to get one particular type of uh, dish to put away as you can see I'm adjusting them some and you can see what I'm doing right here I am actually putting the bowls at an angle all right, now doing this, by putting the bowls at an angle, they still get to get washed thoroughly, but it it allows the bowls to drain the water, which might otherwise sit on top 
after the wash. So I'm doing this. Once I have the bowls slanted, I'm going to start off with the cups. Or if I have a light pot that wouldn't fit at the bottom, as you can see right here, I'm going to place this at the top. And again, I'm putting it at an angle to try to tilt it. And a trick that I use, if I can't tilt it, I put something on the edge of it just to get that little slant motion going so it can drain the water. All right, so after I have the bowls and I have that one pot, I'm going to start to put in my cups and mugs on the center and work my way to the right hand side. As you can see, I'm just going in there and there's a measuring cup. Again, I try to put the cups at an angle if I can to make sure that they drain well. All right, so I have that mug I'm putting in right there. And we're getting down to the last of the dishes and the dishwasher is becoming quite full. So it's gonna be somewhat of a Tetris game to try to get the rest of the dishes in. All right, as you can see, I'm putting in large utensils such as spatulas, spoons, cheese graters, and I'm putting them on the top. And the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, they don't really need a lot of space and you can't see from this angle, but there is actually a sprayer at the top of the dishwasher, which can also wash the dishes from the top. All right. Now, the knives, larger knives that I have, I'm carefully putting them right here. Now, you want to be careful if you're doing this. I don't recommend you do this uh, because when you open up the dishwasher and pull out that top drawer, you could get one of those knives to slip out and they can fall and possibly injure yourself. Now, uh, I suggest you finding another alternative method on placing the knives. This is just something I do with all the risk involved. I don't recommend it again. All right, so I'm down to the nitty gritty and I'm putting in the last bit of dishes that are in the sink inside of the dishwasher. Also, do so you see where I'm putting the knives right there? I've also put chopsticks, a little small knife I put down at the bottom with the knife side down to prevent injuries. All right, and this right here is a little tray I'm gonna have to try to find a spot somewhere in the dishwasher, perhaps on the bottom somewhere. I'm not quite exactly sure where I'm gonna put it, but I'll figure it out. And then there's that large bowl, which I found a spot to put it that fit in. You wanna make sure that nothing is blocking the jet sprayer from spraying the dishes, all right? And now I have that strainer. I might put that in for a second load. I'm not quite exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I may be able to fit it in somehow. Let me think. All right, so I have a plate that I forgot. As you can see right there, it's a dirty plate. And I'm going to find a spot in there. Uh, well, uh, you know, if, you, if you're if you good at Tetris, you might be good at loading a dishwasher, which is actually uh, quite a skill. All right, so everything's loaded, and now I have to find a space for this large strainer. All right, so I'm going to find a place for this large strainer after I put in that flat dish. All right, found a place for the flat dish, and I'm tilting up the pan right here. I don't know if I should do that. Maybe give it a slight slant. All right, so now I have this large strainer that I'm going to find a place for, and I'm just going to sit it on top just like that now because this dishwasher doesn't have an arm that shoots up and sprays it from the middle I'm able to do this with the large strainer as you can see a chopstick fell out I'm just gonna find a place for that and put it in there right there as you can see it's pretty full dishwasher so this is gonna take a heavy load process in order to get clean all right so the dishes are in there now, I'm going to take the dishwasher pod, put that in there, and then I'm also going to take a second one and use that as a pre-wash because this is such a large load. All right, so now that I have it in there, I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn the cycle on to heavy, sandy rinse, heat dry, high temp wash, which is going to take about four 
hours almost and start and then let it wash all right after about four hours I'm going to open this up as you can see there's steam is still coming out fogging up my glasses and I'm looking down at the dishes and you can see the heavy wash really washed and clean the dishes to a T as you can see all the things on the top a shelf are clean and I'm looking at the spoons and that large strainer that I placed on top it is all clean the plates came clean there was enough space in between uh, the plates to get water in there to clean the knife is clean and it looks great all right and that is the cleaning with me for washing dishes after a big meal such as Thanksgiving let me know if you have any questions thanks a lot for watching